I saw a uh, barista <coughs> in a coffee shop I go to today. And the barista had clearly just uh, been crying quite a lot. And I felt bad. But it was interesting. We both sort of looked at each other and like silently agreed like, uh, <laughs> I won't say anything if you don't say anything. <laughs> I ordered my coffee. And I just still couldn't get the image of her crying out of my head, so I was like, you know, I'm actually I'm actually a comedian. <laughs> Would you like to hear a joke? She's like I like that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, um, you know Batman? She's like, mm hmm. A superhero. I said, don't you think that Batman, when it was first being pitched, was such a bad idea? She's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, think about it, you know? Okay, imagine the guy goes in there, he's like, you know how you guys have Superman, super speed, super strength, super agility? And you know how you guys have Spider-Man, spider senses, spider web shooting from the wrist, spider ability to climb up walls. Here's my idea for a new superhero, I call him Batman. The other guy's like, oh my god, Batman, that's so smart, a superhero with wings, I love it. <laughs> And he's like, uh, no, he doesn't have wings. <laughs> he's like, okay, well, isn't he going to look a little bit weird flying around without wings? <laughs> like, uh, no, it's just the thing. He's not much of a flyer, actually. He, uh, he zip lines. <laughs> like, uh, like, say he has to get from the top of one building to the very top window of a slightly smaller building. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if he doesn't, if he doesn't fly, uh, he should be able to get around with like his own signature vehicle, like a, a a Batmobile or something like that. You know, like a helicopter or a plane. That's <laughs> like I love the name. <laughs> I was thinking of a, uh, a Batmobile should be like a long car, <laughs> sort of like a, a scary limo. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, when you think about that, you know, you sort of think of these like dark, cold, dirty, scary places for where they live. So is he like a, you know, like a poor guy living on the street or something? Like, uh, no, he's actually a multi-multi-billionaire playboy. <laughs> okay, is he, is he blind like a bat? Is that what it is? Perfect vision. <laughs> Okay, so he's like a vampire, he sucks blood, he is a 100% normal guy with no superpowers. <laughs> okay, uh, can, I, uh, can I be honest with you? I love it. <laughs> I just think maybe you need to come up with like a, a sidekick that sort of makes up for some of the stuff that you might have let go. <laughs> something, you know, more dangerous, more deadly, like a, a scorpion or a snake or something. He was like, yeah, that is actually very interesting. I was thinking of one earlier today. It's going to be perfect. What about a robin? <laughs> one of those uh, uh, harmless birds? <laughs> but, okay, if, he, if he's a robin, he, so he, he, he must fly then, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow further away from flying than Batman. <laughs> okay, what about like an arch enemy, like a, a foil, you know? Uh, yeah, okay. Now we're on the same page. What about a guy who's obsessed with riddles? <laughs> he wears a costume and it's all question marks indicating his love of riddles. <laughs> The clues he leaves behind for all the crimes are riddles. 
He could even say he's like riddled with a compulsion to riddle. Okay, interesting. What's his name? Catwoman. <laughs> And the barista was like, uh, <laughs> I thought that was going to be a shorter joke. But <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really uh, change your voice between either of the characters. <laughs> but I still understood that it was two separate people, so you're really, you're really uh, talented. <laughs> And I said, my job is done. 